Welcome Wolfpack to our first tutorial video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. This video will specifically discuss how to set up Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with the third party program named On Air Company. What is On Air? How does it work? And how do we set it up to work with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020? Stick around for this entire video and I'll answer all of those questions and more in the next few minutes. In full disclosure, I'm not sponsored by On Air Company whatsoever, but I have spent several hours using their product and I do enjoy it. Although it is a subscription service, which does turn a lot of people off, I believe personally, for a serious sim player, it is well worth the money spent for the gameplay experience provided. I purchased the 12 month plan for 35 euro or $41 American, and I believe I've already received at least that value in game time and immersion. I have included a screenshot of their current pricing options so you can evaluate if it will fit into your budget or not. Either way, there's a 7 day free trial available so you can check it out for yourself. There are other free programs that are available, one of which is FS Economy, but due to the huge influx of players since the release of Flight Simulator 2020, I have been unable to even create an account on their website. That is one of the problems with some free programs, as most of the time the staff is working on a volunteer basis, so updates are not fast and sometimes things may get bogged down. That being said, I have not even been able to try FS Economy, so I cannot say which program is better. Alright, let's jump into the content and get moving. So how do we get on air to work with Flight Simulator 2020? The first step is to head over to the website and create an account. I went over here and did the sign in, created my account with my email address and password, and then I logged in. That brings you to this screenshot. Then you can click the download client button and get the program to put on your PC. After the program is downloaded, I open up just like any other program and you're brought to the client page. And here we are to set up our company profile. So our company name will be Wolfpack Airlines. Our airline code will be WP49. We will go ahead and set it to my birthday, why not? And uh, I have about 30 hours on Flight Simulator right now, so we'll go ahead and stay true to that. We'll go find a guy that looks similar to me. There are a bunch of them here. There's a bald dude. There we go. Nice suit and tie dude. All right. My, my initial location is going to be MGJ, which is the uh, Orange County Airport, which is near my house in New York. If you do not have any flight simulator programs and you want to play with AI pilots only and treat it more like a tycoon game, the way I understand it is you can also do that. I'm not familiar with that. I may try doing that later and I'll do another video if that's the case. I'm going to go with a realistic difficulty. I'm going to stay at a 0% for job pay bonus. And uh, we'll go ahead and activate survival mode. And uh, we will get going. That's going to give us a, uh, the ability to be on a leaderboard. So the world automatically defaults as Cumulus. And that allows us to have AI pilots and the ability to shut survival mode off if we want to. Although if we shut it off, we cannot turn it back on unless we start a new airline. So we're going to go ahead and click on the tutorial and get started. So we're starting from... Montgomery, New York, which is right outside of uh, Stewart Air Base in uh, Orange County, New York. And we're going to be flying up to Syracuse. So let's go ahead and take a look and see the job. We have a tutorial mission. Uh, the heading is uh, 321. And uh, it's 105 pounds of cargo that's going up to Syracuse. Uh, we're going to get paid $2,000 for it. And then we can expand the mission right here. That's going to show us exactly what's going on right now. That is the plane that we have. There is a little bit of confusion here on how to track the tutorial. This, we were able to take a look at the job. Now, in order to get back to the tutorial, we need to click here and then go back to display, and then it, we will be able to work through. So we've already looked at our cargo to deliver. We figured that out. Now we're going to go over to the live map, and then we're going to prepare our next flight. So that button that they're talking about right here is right here. So it's going to prepare our aircraft. You'll see that we have 39% fuel right here. Our nautical miles that we can fly with the fuel load that we currently have is 221. So we can go ahead and load up our cargo. It's 105 pounds. You'll see all of our calculations over here. If any of this turns red, we're no good. We have to get rid of either cargo or fuel. All right, so we're going to go ahead and confirm and go fly now. And that work order is going to be transferred over to the ramp agents. Right now, it was very quickly uh, loaded. Sometimes this takes a few minutes to load up passengers. It takes a few minutes to load up cargo, depending on how uh, large of a plane you have and how much cargo you have. Uh, it does take time to do that. We're going to go over here, and we are going to set our destination airport, which is KSYR, Syracuse. 
and uh, it will kick us out a uh, alternate airport in case we get into trouble. We can land at the alternate airport, but we still need to get the cargo to Siracus or it will not work. And uh, we'll go to the flight tracking page now. You can see that we have Microsoft Flight Simulator running in the background here already. We are connected to MFS, but there is no flight tracking in progress currently. You can also see over here that our aircraft location is about 5,000 miles from where we need to be. That's because I don't have a flight plan set up just yet. So now we'll head over to FS2020. I did pre-program a flight plan so you guys didn't have to sit here and watch me do that. And we are going to go ahead and hit the fly button and that will put us out in Orange County Airport. Now you can see our location changed to 0 0.20 nautical miles from the starting position. We're on the ground and then we can get ready to go. Once we have the green check marks here, we're good to go. We can hit start tracking and we get our on-air plug-in activated alert. I highly recommend starting cold and dark so you get your, your bonuses at the end. If you start with your engines on on the runway, uh, for whatever reason, whether it be a bug, you do not get your safety bonuses because apparently your beacon is not turned on before the engine is. Again, I don't know if that's a bug with on-air or flight simulator. I'm not sure, but it does not jive, and if you start on the runway, you will not get that safety bonus because you didn't start the aircraft up correctly. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. So as you saw, once we got the engines running, the on-air started tracking our flight and we are good to go. So Airborne time logged. All right, here we are, 8,500 feet in upstate New York, uh, heading towards Syracuse from Orange County Airport. Let's go ahead and go and check out our on-air interface as we're flying. So if you want the, to have this, I recommend having this on a second screen if you have it available. That way you can track and see how you're doing. It gives you your direction of travel. Over here it shows uh, what we have. We have no passengers on board. We have 105 cargo pounds and uh, where it's going to be uh, dropped off at. And then if we want to scroll around, we can, but we just have to unclick follow aircraft and we can scroll around and see what other airports are uh, or what other features we have around. Uh, another nice thing is um, we can also show the other airports in case we need to land and get fuel or uh, for other jobs that could be in the area in the future for, for different missions. So I'll bring you guys back when we get to Syracuse and uh, we will uh, finish off the tutorial there. Landing time logged. Landed at Kilo Sierra Yankee Romeo. Syracuse Hancock INTL. All right, there's our notification that we landed for uh, on air, and you can see all the notifications coming on. Engine off time logged. End of flight. Registered in on air company. So now we get our notifications down here on the bottom right. Uh, it says that we finished it. So let's go ahead and bring up our uh, tutorial here. You can see that. Uh, our landing lights were off during approach, so we missed that one. Uh, and then uh, we have our comfort bonus, but we did not get the safety bonus, and we did not get our aircraft handling bonus because I, uh, I did stall out uh, on descent for some reason. I'm not really quite sure why that was. but So uh, we have our valid flight here. You can go through and see your... Again, we can see everything that we did, our inputs, and all the things that went uh, good and bad throughout the entire flight. Yellow is not so bad, and then... Uh, over here we have our uh, stalls where we where they and they recorded. So let's go back to the tutorial display. Congratulations, you finished the tutorial. We now have the basics to conduct the flights and develop my company. Go back to the lobby and enter the persistent world. All right, we're back in the lobby. Our tutorial is complete. We are going into the Cumulus world. Uh, our company is Wolfpack Airlines, and uh, we will go right now into the dashboard. And you will have access to the dashboard as soon as you complete your first tutorial flight. Uh, we can see our current cash, our company value, what our income and expenditures are, and then our ratios. Hey, before I forget, if this is your first time on this channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and setting your notifications to all. And while you're down there, hit that like button if you're getting value out of this tutorial. If you're looking for a flight simulator career mode series using on air, check out my playlist link in the description or in the pinned comment down below. I'm starting a series which will be flying around uh, the New York area uh, doing jobs and I'm going to grow an airline from scratch. Okay, so let's dive into jobs. Right now you can see we have one pending job and that is our level one mission job. And if we complete this, we'll go, we'll get a thousand XP, which is what we need to reach level two. Let's uh, go over to the global settings 
And let's make sure that we are using small airports. Because we are only a Cessna right now, it would make sense to use small airports so we can get those smaller jobs and those quick hops out of the logistics center as well. So let's go ahead and save this. And now when we save this, it opens up a lot more items for our logistics. So let's pop over to the logistics center. Let's take a look and we'll do uh, very short trips. And let's type in the airport that we're at. K-M-G-J, Orange County. So let's go ahead and give it a query. So you can see here we have uh, goods transports, medical transports, which we can't do yet because we haven't unlocked it in the skills tree. We have dangerous materials. We can do perishable goods. And uh, there are, eventually, there are passengers as well. The green star means it's a very high pay to rate per distance uh, value. So 13000 uh, to do a real quick trip. And again, you can filter these results into doing uh, any long hauls, short hauls, mediums, uh, whatever. But I like, because we are starting in a Cessna, I like to do the short hauls as well. So if you take these jobs, they go into your pending jobs, and it doesn't mean that you have to immediately fly those jobs. You can come through here, and you could take each and every one of these jobs, assuming that you're qualified for it, and it will go into your pending. If you don't get the job done by its deadline, which are uh, signified by these exp expiration lights, uh, you're going to be fined this amount of money here in the red. So a lot of people have found this user interface uh, rather complicated. Uh, once you get used to it, it does make a lot of sense. So we can come in here, we'll take a look at our skills tree. Right now we have one skill point to distribute. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the passenger's license, which is going to allow us in the logistics tab, I can now take passengers if they are available. Hiring agreement will be my next one, I have a feeling, because I'd like to get uh, a couple of pilots to fly my planes while I'm not flying myself. All right, in the aircrafts tab, we can see our Cessna Skyhawk that we uh, got from our primary tutorial mission. We can see the condition of the engine, and we can see the condition of the airframe, and then we can also send it for maintenance. Keep in mind that if you send it for maintenance, it could be a couple of days before you get it back. You will have to either rent planes or not play uh, as a pilot while this plane is in maintenance. Here is the FBO tab. You can create and construct a fuel depot, a maintenance depot, tie down areas, or a hangar, and uh, you can charge players for the use of any of that. Here's our level right here, and then that will bring up the skills tree, which we will be able to open up as soon as we get to level two, we'll have more points to spend. And finally, our employees. Right now, we are the only one. We'll have, we can hire pilots, co-pilots, flight attendants, and mechanics, but that all has to be opened up in the skills tree. All right, using the My Company tab up here, you can hit any one of these things that are on the dashboard and more. more. You can get your cash flow history, your flow statements. You can go in for a loan uh, from the bank, uh, balance sheets, all sorts of things that you would need to run your airline. In the World tab, there are several things you can do. You can find jobs, hire employees, search aircraft at specific airports, and then uh, the aircraft at the airport, which are available to rent or purchase, you can do that, and that brings us to this tab here. So there are three Cessna Skyhawks here, one of which is mine. Uh, that's a player-owned, that's a player-owned one. Um, that doesn't look like uh, the either, either of the other two players, nor myself, are renting right now. Um, but we could, if we wanted the Osobo Baron, we could... Uh, Go ahead and rent that if we wanted to for $800 an hour. Um, and then these two aircraft are already rented, uh, so we can't do anything until they're returned. But again, if you rent the aircraft, you need to have a pilot to, that is qualified to fly that aircraft. You can't go renting a Boeing 747 and then go off and fly it without a check ride. Over here is the multiplayer map. You could see everybody in the world, where they're flying, where they're going, if it's an AI or if it's a player playing in a simulator. There are a lot of people that play this game all over the world. We also have partnerships. I will be doing some content with uh, Pontiac91, a very big channel supporter of mine and a good friend. Uh, him and I will be doing content uh, together and we will be entering a partnership in the uh, in on air as well. You can do chats, you can do company details and search companies out, and then you have your airport databases, FBOs, and the aircraft usage tree again. Then you have your global settings where you can change anything that you did at the beginning, but keep in mind, if you shut off survival mode, you have to restart your company to turn it back on. One of the options that struck me as amazing for on-air is the ability to check on your airline using a mobile app. I haven't really messed with the mobile functionality as of yet. But as I understand it, the mobile apps allow you to search and take jobs, then schedule flights and manage them with AI crews, assuming that you have them unlocked in the skills tree. This is an excellent way to keep your airline growing while you're away from your PC for an extended amount of time. 
If you enjoyed this tutorial or you learned something, please drop a like and consider hitting that subscribe button and setting your notifications to all. Check out the next video in this tutorial series popping up on your left. Or if you'd like to catch my Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 career mode series using on air, check out the playlist that is popping up on your right. If you also enjoy survival and military games, consider subscribing to my second channel showing up right now. Click one of those cards or any link in the comment or description below and we will see you over there.